Hey everybody, so this is a, I'm coming back to you with another review. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so this is like a whole new thing for me to redo this again. And this is a review on the Honer Blues Harp. This is specifically the MS version. I don't have access to the original version because to be fair, harmonicas, vintage harmonicas are not cheap. So, here's my little review of it. I actually, my history with this harp is that I, this was actually the first harmonica I bought outside of the Special 20. I thought a wooden comb would be a really nice change of pace for me. I originally wanted a crossover, but but I went for a, went for a regular blues harp because of the screws and, and the wooden comb. I will not buy a marine band. I'm sorry for you blues traditionalists out there. I will not buy a marine band. It won't fit my sound. And I don't... And there's another reason why I don't like marine... I I don't like the tuning on them. They won't fit for my style. If you're wondering what harmon harmonica I tip typically play, I use the Honer Gold Melody. This is specifically the original... This is the 2014 version, which is the early progressive series gold melody. Went back when it had its original design. So, for I honestly really like the supports in the back. Like, like this makes makes this harmonica really sturdy, and it won't crush on you. Now let's talk about the comb. The harmonica comb is actually a wooden comb, and I can see some benefits, but I really don't like the feel of them. To give you a, especially when tongue blocking, I don't tongue block that much, but when I do tongue block, I feel, I only feel the, the texture of the wood and, and the taste of the brass reeds. It just doesn't really go well over me. I'm autistic and sometimes I have sensory sensitivity. So, so I don't like anything with a lot of grit to it, like a wooden comb. Honestly, I prefer a plastic comb or this one is, this one I actually outfitted with an acrylic comb made by a by a close friend of mine in the community named Todd Parrott. Check him out if you haven't heard of him before. <laughs> so, and not to mention, like, due to it being in the MS series, you can actually swap out the parts for it with other harmonicas in that line. So you could do it with the Pro Harp, the Meister Class, the MS Meister classes, I believe, and the Big River Harp. And you can do it with the other MS harps that are discontinued. So, this, so it, it adds, you can make your own little Frankenstein's monster with these things. And the side, but the an interesting thing, what makes this different from the Marine Band is that it has closed side vents. So that's a little, I like playing harmonicas with either full length covers or, or no side vents, but I really like this little harp a little bit. Like it's a controversial harmonica, because people, especially on Facebook, because people will tell you how terrible it is. But I think they're confusing it more with the blues band, more with the Honer Blues Harp, which is a co totally different beast altogether. <laughs> with, and maybe we'll cover that. I, I don't know. So I'm just giving you a little bit of a test sampler for the Honer Blues Harp. And I'll, then I'll compare it to my Kia Seagull Melody. Yep, both of these are in the Kia C. See, they have, this one has a little sticker on it. This one is just marked with the Kia C. So 
so first off, I'll be playing the second position blue scale. Here's the blues harp. Now here is the gold melody. Now here is the first position scale on up to seven up to seven below on the blues harp. Now here it is on the gold melody. As you can tell, the tuning on the chords is a, are kind of different. Like, I have preferred the tuning of the gold melody because due to the style that I play, which is like more of a country bluesy kind of style, of like a bluesy country kind of style, it just makes it, it just makes those chords have like this really nice jangling sound to them. And it makes it, makes them ring out. <laughs> And, and especially since this is a lot brighter than the than the blues harp, which has a little bit of a darker tone, but fuller sounding chords. Now I'll just play some Terry McMillan style stuff on the Honer blues harp. <laughs> Now here it is on the gold melody. <laughs> and now here is some tongue blocking on the Horner Blues harp. Now here it is on the gold melody. Now you can hear a lot of difference, a little bit of a difference between the two harps. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video. And there was just one little critique, one one fi final critique about this harp. I'm so used to playing plastic combs that that my that the wooden comb is like a feels a lot rougher in comparison. I prefer more smoother combs like plastic or acrylic, but but I do get the appeal of the wooden comb because you want that old time bluesy feel and a lot of the older guys had no choice but to use wooden combed harps but I never tried a marine band and I never will because I don't like wooden combs because they feel so rough around my lips and, and in my tongue that I just couldn't deal with it and this why I don't really play this that often and not to mention, before I go, this was the harmonica that I used to play Ain't Going Down to the Sun Comes Up at during like the a few days at before my school closed down during the pandemic. 
And so this harmonica has a special place in my heart. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time.